Hello you two, we have a completely different video today. Nothing to do with cards, and it's actually to do with power tools. So as you've seen from the thumbnail, we're gonna do a, a bit of amalgamation between the two. Reason being, I have got an absolute ton of Dewalt tools that run this old style big battery. Now these all come from a former job where I was a carpenter, so I've literally easily 15 different types of tools from impact drivers, drill drivers, circular saw, reciprocating saws, nail guns, you name it, I've got them all stored away. But the issue is, after so many years of not being used, I've got dead batteries. So basically the tools are useless. I don't use them, obviously it's not my job anymore, I give it up. Um, but for DIY around the house, I can't use my tools because I've got no batteries. But I have got my impact gun, which I use to work on the car. So I've had this idea, how can I make these lithium batteries work with the Dewalt? So we're gonna give that a go today. Now you will notice that's an 18 volt, that's a 20 volt. This is a bit of a fake marketing of 20 volt from what I can gather, they're actually 18 volt, but a charged 18 volt, it's around 20 volt max. So as it says, 20 volt, 20 volt max, really it's an 18 volt. So it should work fine on that, I think. Now, how am I going to go about doing that? Well, I've got this year drill. I bought this for like 20 quid from an Argos clearance, just bare, and it didn't last long. It broke, it just doesn't work. Um, I can't be bothered going about fixing it because it's not much use to me. So this is the idea that I've got. We're going to take this battery, screw this yellow bit off, and see where that square is outlined. I plan on cutting that out so we'll retain all of this bit to go into the tools. Then with this drill, we're going to chop this off, which is the battery connector. And then we're going to do a joint from that to that, which should then allow us to use this style battery in this style of drill. Now, it might take a little bit of fumbling to get it to work. I'm going to do a little bit of planning first, checking the electrics to see um, if it will work. But we can but try, can we? I don't want to go buying a whole new load of batteries for these because they're not the best. These are heavy old things and tools have moved on since then. But I'm going to make use of them. We're going to see what we're going to do. We're going to start cutting and chopping. So these are made up of all little battery cells. Now, one thing is when these die and they won't charge or anything like that, a lot of the times it's just individual cells. You could have multiple ones which are perfectly fine, but one or two cells have gone bad. So what I used to do, I done for a couple of years, was I would take these apart. And as you can see here, I've changed these two cells. So basically you have one of these batteries, like a sacrificial battery. You find all the good cells on a multimeter and you then swap them out um so you put remove the bad ones get two from another one for argument's sake and go like that but it's uh it's kind of like a temporary fix eventually they just go and this one has gone pretty much all my batteries have gone so i've done the best i can with them over the years but now what we're going to do is if we get this all out Right, so you can see in all this glory, it's just a bunch of uh, small batteries making one big battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect all of this. You obviously need this connection part there to go back in there and the wire in. So we'll disconnect that first before we look at dismantling the drill. Right, so these contacts are sort of welded onto the top of that battery. So I think we're going to have to try and break them off there, see if they'll pry off. Should do. There's one gone. Come on the other side. There we are. Right. So now it's a case of taking the rest of the wires out. Although we could probably just cut that one, I think. Chop that one somewhere down there. And then we've got the main parts we need. So what I've done now is just stuck some wires onto this plug. This is just a test then now to see if it'll actually work. So we're going to put that in there, put it into the drill, and I've got some crocodile clips on them. We'll connect onto one of them batteries and see if the drill will work. So I want to make sure it will actually work. Pretty sure it will. But I want to find out before I go to all the effort. Right, so we've got the battery. 
plus and the minus is there and I've just put them screws in to touch the connectors so we'll put the crocodile clips onto them and hopefully it will work all right so let's give this a try I don't know which is plus which is minus hopefully we won't fry anything I'll try not to uh make these touch each other I don't know if these screws will conduct actually because they're coated I don't want them to touch each other now yes that's been in the right way too so we know it will work all right so that's good news these batteries will run them drills so what i'm going to do now is now we're going to look at dismantling this and seeing how we can integrate it into one of them bases so with this drill taken apart what we need is obviously we need these battery connectors there and then we're going to do a chop somewhere down here i don't know how much of this we're going to be using to fit to that yet so what i'm going to do is cut this off perhaps i'll cut the, the wires off the motor there actually i have done uh, quite a bit of testing trying to fix this drill and i think it's this main switch that's gone here and like i said for the sake of this drill it was only 20 quid it's not even worth me buying any new parts for it um it was so cheap so i don't care about ruining it so we'll chop that off i'm going to put it back together and we'll cut this off then as one <clears throat> right so just for now i'm going to chop it on about there we're going to use a lot less than that um i was planning on just fusing this part here straight to this lower part here but i then realized we can have an issue these batteries rely on these little clips here to keep that into the drill so what's going to happen the battery would just keep falling out so i got to try and retain some of this base so i'm thinking of putting that inside here cut some of this and then that battery can hopefully sort of slot somewhere in that we're going to work something out so i'm going to cut this longer than i need and then we'll uh, cut it down to the exact size we need <laughs> Right, so this is the idea I'm working on, okay? We're going to take this base. I've done a little bit of uh, just cutting off a bit. Not fully finished yet. But that will go down in there. Now imagine that, that this piece here just pokes out of the bottom there. We'll chamfer some of this off. So that will sort of be set around about that level inside there. And then we can come in with this battery. So... That's what I'm uh, aiming for. I'm just trimming a bit more there. Just trying to work out really then how much of... we got to retain this section here because the clips are within that. But from there on then we can, we can curve up so that this battery can come in and clip onto it. Nice, right, so we've got the old Dremel on the go now. I'm going to have a go of just uh, taking out the shape. It's not going to be perfect. This is definitely the type of job that you do and you realize you could do a much better go a second time around but we're going to do what we can and i'm going to chop that out and then just start increasing size so we're happy with it all right well that's not looking too bad fairly decent fit there so as you can see we will need to chop up here for that battery then to slide into it right so with that cut out and that piece put in well, that's what we got now as you can see now our battery will be able to clip into that just like so and with that cut out i'll be able to get my thumb in to release it so well, that should work decent yeah i will we look at this drill margin once that's on there yeah you are going to have a bit of battery hanging down but that is so much lighter than that i would say that because that's a lithium ion it's probably about a third of the weight of that if not less right so the next task now is we gotta join these two parts together so them wires we'll saw it together and then we'll extend that wire up to there with the, that wire. Now there is a little wire there and there was one on this. I pull them off because 
that's probably for the charger for the battery actually it's going to be more of um a sensor for when the battery's charged which we don't need it because we're using the works battery so this is just basically an adapter so we don't have to worry about that so i will i'll solder rather them two parts together and then we'll be ready to do the joint right so there we have that not pretty but it'll do the job so i'm just going to tape them up now and they'll be ready to go in okay, the next step now is to merge the two so we've got that in there what i've done is a little bit of uh plastic welding you might not be able to see in there but i've tried to pin that piece in there so we don't come out using a soldering iron you'll be able to see better what i do now when i put this piece on so we're gonna thread this through there what i'm gonna do then is pop some screws around there to keep them two parts together and then we look at bonding that piece into there right so the first thing we're gonna do is see if we can just get a tack on this back end here and try and keep it in place okay. once i get it held in place it'll be a lot easier so basically what we're trying to do is heat and melt and fuse the two halves together right so that's held in place we're going to work our way along we can actually then use a cable tie or some plastic as a as a filler rod so i'm going to work my way along That's that side done. Let's see if we can get the other side to match. Right, so that side doesn't look so good <clears throat> i just realized there's a bit of a sticker in there but that's really pretty solid what i'm going to do now is get a cable tie and set about filler in the gaps Right, so with that now <clears throat> plastic welded in there, that is so strong. I mean, you can really tag on that. And the battery fits in nice. And get out there nice and easy. Yeah, it looks a bit stupid. It looks a bit odd. Um, <clears throat> but for the odd occasions where I need to use my Dewalt tools, then it'll work fine. Like I said, I've got so many tools, like nail gun and stuff. I want to uh, do some architrave in the house, things like that. Maybe I'm going too much, too too woody on now. But anyway, it means I can use them tools. At the moment, they're in, in the house, completely redundant, unusable. So the test is now, with that on there, does it work? Everything spins in the right way. Light comes on. Yeah, looks a little bit... Uh, ghetto but it does the job it will stand up on the drill i want to use my saw and that believe it or not is still lighter than what that would be now i know you can buy type of adapters i don't know if you can get one that will work specifically for that battery um but that's cost me absolutely nothing to do that so very simple very basic does the job right an oddball video, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching this one, and guess what I'm going to do? See you on the next video, hopefully. Bye.